Let's talk about Ison, the rapture, this destruction by fire, judgment, the false bride. And what all this has to do with this song right here, Bye Bye Miss American Pie. I already did a video series on it. Go to the playlist and you'll see where it starts from video one through. And then you will get all of the supportive information and really a very good video series that will inform you. Okay. First of all, this Ison thing. Many of you know that when this Ison business first started, uh, people were asking me what I thought about it. And I said, I don't think jack about it. Nothing's going to happen with this thing. Nothing's going to happen with it in the way of the fulfillment of the second cup. The fullness in which will be that destruction off the east coast of New York City that causes the entire devastation of this system and America. And of course the destruction will be related further than just that location, but that is the prime target which we see now is associated in red, even by the department store target, let us know that for a long time now. And then we see that coding with the red and the blue, really what it all means from the movie Gangs of New York. If you watch the video series that I did entitled Roots of the Sacred Feminine. So really the sacred feminine movement is bound up in the very same movement of this false professing bride that in all reality seems to have no idea what it's talking about and that they're getting messages from their god who obviously might need to listen to a little classic rock because you'll find out the very same codes from the movies now is in the classical rock from 1970s so if we wanted to know when this destruction that they're trying to pull the wool over everyone's eyes with this ice sun thing and then think about just the name I Sun, and then the I Sun. You know who the I is that's seeking to have a son, and it would be Horus, the son of the sun god. So when you see I Sun, it's telling you the son of that all-seeing I that we would associate with the Illuminati, Rai, Ra the sun god Osiris or Horus and then Horus is that sun that they are bringing to the dark side of the moon which is a fulfillment in Egyptian symbolism of Sumerian symbolism of the fallen prince of this world Enki the Nahesh many of you should already know all that but if you don't no worry because it will be basically told to you right here in layman's terms um, using a coded song, Bye Bye Miss American Pie. So this Ison thing has got a serious problem, unless they're going to keep this thing going round and round here for a little while. Round and round. Uh, <laughs> what we see described here, and we have a quote from Jesus Christ as well, but what we see here in verse 3 is it's going to be a helter-skelter in a summer swelter not a Christmas season. Helter Skelter in a summer swelter, that's when these birds are gonna fly off with a fallout shelter. Now you know who the birds are. It's these false professing brides that are being symbolized from Revelation 12, being lifted up as we see the same symbols are quoted that you see right here in the celestial boat that we know is the dark side of the moon, okay? So the birds are the birds of prey. By symbolism of the eagle, which then through the King James will also translate as Nesher, vulture. Very same thing. So we've got birds of prey and meat eaters in symbolism that are being lifted up. Right? And that is your false bride. But somehow has no connection to its groom. Or is just pretty much trying to pull everybody's chain and by pulling your chain, that's pulling you into this pit that they themselves are heading to. That chain is the bondage of the slavish tradition of non-truth. 
So the Helter Skelter, you know Helter Skelter literally means chaos, disorder, and that's supposed to come with this destruction that now we see is coming in a summer swelter. Summer swelter takes place at the summer solstice, which is the symbolism for cancer, which takes place between June 21st and July 22nd, which would then be consistent with the video series that I did entitled July equals sacrifice well over a year ago. And then we find out that I made a prediction that a sacrifice would be made in July. And I think within one day, it came true. And that's where we had the James Holmes, which now we see James is really the English equivalent of Jacob. And then Holmes for his last name turns into house. So it's a symbolism for the code of Jacob's house who rules Jacob's house. That would be Ephraim. So, and then that prediction that I made for July equals sacrifice, we saw that there was some sort of coded sacrifice that was produced that had the reflection of what I felt was the potential for this sacrifice to manifest. And that was the destruction of New York City. So in that movie, it was the dark night rises. That's the Batman, the dark, the dark night rises that we know is this dark eye of Horus trying to bring this son of the sun as we see to the dark side of the moon. So we see that, uh, yes, July does equal sacrifice. And through the coding of the movie, connecting it to Gotham, New York in symbol, because that's Batman's home city is Gotham. Then you say Gotham like word sound have power or even an anagram. And then you'll get got ham. Let's make sure that you fully understand that because it's important. If you want to know anything about James Holmes and you want to know anything about these codes and you want to know why this false bride has no idea what it's talking about or I said they're trying to confuse you. Uh, the comic book series, Batman, very popular. Obviously, you know it through all the movies. All you got to do is just divide this right down the middle and what do you get? Got ham. And then what do we try to say this name Esau has everything to do with? Ham, pig, and then this is the color red. And then we saw the movie Gangs of New York. It's painting red. False brides are talking about painting the city red. I mean, this is all a sinister, psyops, coded, ritual, satanic deception for blood of the innocent. And then they're doing it for their own selfish gain in some sort of golden egg that ain't going to be had. It's just a temptation based upon faulty history that they have been indoctrinated into. So we can see it right there. Helter Skelter in the summer swelter. The birds flew off with a fallout shelter that fulfills Zachariah 5 because it describes them being sealed with lead. And then we know that lead is a uh, perfect repellent for radiation. And then this fallout is what the radiation is supposed to result from the dirty bombs that are being faked meteors or asteroid that they're trying to tempt everyone with this ice on and then try to get people like me to jump the gun and make some sort of prediction about it because they fulfill the symbols. Nope, not going to happen. I know what the truth is, my friends. So, you know, the fallout shelter, Zach five will tell you they're sealed with lead. The birds flew off. That's the false professing bride who is either receiving the wrong messages they don't know what God is or anything about it, or they're purposely trying to confuse everyone. And as we see, it's really them that are confused. So you don't even have to listen to the false bride any longer. Just listen to a little bit of classic rock, you know? And if you have the spirit of truth in you, Jesus Christ, he will allow you to see it plain as day, what they've been singing about for the last 30 plus years and even longer. Let's look at the first line. We were singing... Bye-bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing, this will be the day that I die. That's the psyops. They've got the good old boys of America and everybody else that's been led by the idle shepherds, drunk on this deception, and then now have symbolized us with the whiskey and rye, which symbolizes grain. And then they're going to say that this is the bad grain, the ergo, that they seek to destroy. When in all reality, we know that the ergo is associated with blackness, and we see that it's this blackness itself that is erring and going to the moon. Ergo, big mistake. So now that.
all right? And then the symbolism goes with the grain to pin it on us as some sort of destruction for this bad grain, if you will, that needs to be separated from the good. Now, while they've got everybody drunk and confused with this propaganda from YouTube, at the same time, they've got, a, they've got them singing that, yeah, we want America to be destroyed. Uh, get rid of all this blah, 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 this, that, and the other. And yes, this stuff is bad. But what you're actually singing about in this destruction is yourself within it. And that's what they know. And then that's why they're mocking and laughing at you. When they got you guys to call yourself the 99% in New York City, huge ritual symbolism taking place there. Okay, that's going to relate to Noah. And then the name Noah can be spelled to as one. Noah can be spelled N-O-E. Just listen for a second here. Now we'll anagram that to one. Okay, now remember, they got everybody saying that we are the 99%. The peoples in New York symbolizing that. And then guess what? That's what they're seeking to destroy. That's what they're seeking to destroy. Now, how does this make sense with Noah? Okay, in his name, it's being spelt this way for an anagram for one. Well, there was only eight people that were saved in the days of Noah. They ain't really telling you all that too much about that, are you? Are they? Now, let's divide the kingdom because Jesus says in this day that kingdom will be divided. And then what do we come up with? 44 right there. And then if the kingdom is divided and then one of these fours is looking into a mirror, well, guess what? We end up coming up with the, the serpent fractal again with the poisonous, viperous snake. So he's not even taken the other portion of the four. He's only mirrored himself as the one four. And then this is where he turns the mirror of the one four into the verp into the viper that deceives his own. That's exactly right. And then now you got to think about in Revelation where they talk about the 144,000. Well, there is a one but that puts himself before this 44. And as you see that it's going to be this in the days of Noah that see themselves as one, but they only see themselves as one separated from the other four. So the 44% of this uh, tempted false bride, a huge portion of you guys aren't going. It's only 4% of these that are going to be lifted up. 144,000 is a pretty small number when you consider you guys in Mystery Babylon are supposed to be up to about 2 billion in number. And then they're making all you guys think that you got this big old refuge there. Well, in this time, it shall be like it was in the days of Noah. Only eight were saved. Jesus Christ said that kingdom is divided. They're divided by mammon because you got to buy this stairway to heaven to get there. And then think about all the rich corporations and businesses. How many big billion, billion dollar businesses and countries. You guys think that you got enough money to get your ticket to Shinar by beating out billionaires? Just because you're running around on YouTube trying to deceive everybody, you think that's how you're getting in? No. And we're going to talk about this further. Because I showed that symbolism from that single eye with that blue eagle embossed on it. And then those scriptures I read from the book of Luke where Jesus Christ is quoting this very thing that I talked about here. And you will see it all comes out. Like I said, this one eye is putting itself before the 44, only mirroring itself and then getting rid of the greatest portion of you guys. I'm telling you it goes on from there. So come on, guys. Come on, I'm trying to help you out here. I am trying to help you out. Don't join in with a bunch of people that are murderers, that do it for selfish gain, that they've tricked everybody in thinking that it's all about this coming golden age. Murder is not golden unless you're talking about piss. Unless you're talking about piss, water, truth. Yeah. Helter skelter in a summer swelter. The birds flew off with the fallout shelter. That tells you right there. It's going to be... In the timing of cancer, the symbolic number 69 as above, 
so too below. Okay, the conversion, the illusion, the reflection, the backwards of the mirror. And then it says, oh, and there we were all in one place, a generation lost in space. Where do you think they are? Okay, there's just been this chaos. There's just been uh, this chaos in the summer swelter. That's the millstone off the coast of New York City. And then the birds are going to fly off. Where do they go? They're lost in space. And that would be Shinar. Lost in space. With no time left to start again. So come on, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack Flash sat on the candlestick because fire is the devil's only friend. A lot of stuff there. Oh, I'll tell you, man. Jack Flash set on a candlestick. That's right. Candlestick. Remember the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. Butcher, baker, candlestick maker. Talk about the candlestick maker later. Let's talk about the baker. How is this person the baker? Well, we got a baby in the basket that is called a bun in the oven. Butcher, baker, candlestick maker, fractal complete. We see that fire is the devil's only friend. Are they not sending this fire down from the dark side of the moon, from this high hand of Ephraim that they're trying to say is God's plan? Right, we see that it is men that are playing God. It's their plan. They're bringing this about to usher in a God that they had to literally form with their own hands. And that's what CERN has been up to. And we'll see Jesus Christ is basically speaking out against CERN from 2000 years ago. And you'll see that. So if fire is the only devil's friend, well, we know who the devils are because they are using this fire as the key symbolism for this destruction and dissension. Remember as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. In these last days when the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, is truly being revealed, and then he says he must be rejected by this generation in which this generation is. Remember, Noah goes into a ark, and then from the monatomic gold series, that was ark electricus, which was that high heat that was used to transmutate that gold okay, into a monatomic for form that then levitated and was then lifted up. So when Noah, in ancient times, this eight that really is divided, that sees itself as a four, that now is just a one because it's vain and has mirrored itself, and then that makes up the one percent, and then the 99 percent is everybody else. You see that? So they got into an arc too, being symbolized with the four and a four. But as you know, the deception with the name Noah in this code is that it's one, and I said he's vain, he only mirrors a single four. The other one is just an illusion to him. Illusion workers. Incredible. Incredible. So if fire is the devil's only friend, we see um, who has made both fire and the devil their friend only to get duped. Because the fire is coming. The fire is the ark. The fire is the ark that symbolically they're getting into to lift them up by the transmutation, the understanding of the transmutation of the monatomic gold. And that's what you should understand is the symbol for the manna. And this is what lets us know that these are all about only the doctrines of men. Man, uh, and then manna actually has man and Anna in it at the same time. Man, and then Anna. Mana. Now you can drop one of the ends if you like. It's still the same thing. Once again, you have man and woman combined. That's that bringing together of the light and the dark. It's the the abomination of which God did not create in the original design. Okay, man and women are created as separate entities to live out existences that are not fused together genetically but yet in love and harmony. And as the flames climbed high into the night to light the sacrificial rite, what are the flames for? What's the fire for? For sacrifice. I saw Satan laughing with delight, 
the day the music. And as the flames climbed high into the night, to do what? To light the sacrificial rite. I saw Satan laughing with delight the day the music died. There it all is. A sacrifice of America going bye-bye, causing the entire population to become drunk on pop propaganda, get them to even sing and be joyous about this destruction, in which you see them doing that without realizing that they're praising their own destruction. This will be the day that I die. They don't even know that they're saying that. And then helter-skelter in a summer swelter, the birds flew off with the fallout shelter. A fallout shelter is led. Zachariah 5 will give you the connection. Now we see these lost ones as Jesus Christ calls them the lost sheep. And then he's going to send certain of his disciples to them. And then we'll do our best to bring some of them back in their current vessels. But the majority of them will be lost. And then I'll just have to meet them on the other side. I'll be back.